Aspen will be here. So, this video is going to be probably really short because it is just a little story time video. And you probably noticed I finally got a background. I don't know how much of you could, yeah, but you could actually see. But I have like wolves over here, uh, with rocks, yay. And I got a galaxy over there. But I will also be putting art on it too. So don't worry about that. I still have to print out the piece of artwork that I have. I'm so far behind. <laughs> okay, but. As you can probably tell from the title of the video, that uh, I actually have probably made one of my friends a furry. <laughs> uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to call her Peanut, because why not? Uh, so of course, you know, I've been in the fandom for a few months now, and I was still in school when I actually joined the fandom. And of course, like, I told my friends that I was a furry and all about it and everything so that hopefully they didn't go and like do their own research and be like, wait, do you fuck dogs? And I'm like, no. <laughs> so yeah, and then one of my friends, as I was describing it to her and everything, and we were just joking about it and everything, she actually said to me, I think I might be a furry. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> and she's like, hearing you talk about it, like, it really describes me. And so I continued talking with Pina about this. And she actually has a persona. She made one like a super long time ago and she's had it for everything. And uh, then she, uh, oh, I can't count. <laughs> okay. And then like she started describing like how, how she just loves animals and like always wants to be one and loves like dressing up in like cat ears and everything and so she was like i seriously might be a furry and i'm like wow i just like introduced my friend to the fandom and she might be a furry so she actually sent me pictures of her uh persona and i'm not going to show those because uh she doesn't want me to so i'm not going to show it to you but if i could i would um, but I'll describe it to you. So it was this like really beautiful like tiger and it was like this really light blue with a darker blue kind of like a Aspen nose about that uh, darker blue and so like the other blue was like really pretty much like almost um like white. So it's kind of like uh, the blue on Aubrey, like on her hair cuff and her eyes. It's about that blue, but a little bit more pigmented. And of course it has like the long hair and it's just beautiful. And I was like, I'm so jealous. I love your persona. So yeah, I don't think she's ever gonna get a suit of it and you know, because she's not a full-blown furry like me. She's like in the first few stages of being a furry. It's like, yeah, my, my arm is showing. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I actually have probably made my friend a, a, uh, a furry. <laughs> so, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Hopefully, and, um... Uh, she does not know the stereotypes of furries that everybody freaking knows. So I wanted to yell at her so badly to shut up. When she like figured it out, she thought, oh yeah, fur furries, like everybody just knows them as people who dress up in giant freaking animal costumes and hug everyone <laughs> and love animals and everything. And I'm like, nope, nope, everybody thinks we fuck animals. <laughs> So, of course, she's like, 
going around telling everyone. She's like, hey guys, I'm a furry, I'm a furry, and so is Aspen. And I'm like, Peanut, shut up, just shut up. Because, um, that actually happened with one of my other friends is, uh, I didn't know how he was gonna react about the furriness. Uh, so, of course, my other friends, I just flat out told them and explained it to them, and they were like, amazing! <laughs> and I was like, I know. But him, I didn't know how he was gonna react. So, uh, for, for this, I'm just going to call him, uh, Wood. <laughs> Why not? So, of course, I'm at, I'm at lunch with Wood and... I'll call her Lima Bean. Uh, with Wood and Lima Bean. Peanut wasn't in this class, so we didn't have lunch together. And we were just sitting there, and of course, we were talking about the dress code. And then I jokingly said, like, what if someone came into school in a fursuit? Because, like, that's not in the dress code policies, because, you know, they're probably like, nobody's gonna fucking come to school in a fursuit. It's <laughs> so, like, I would be the person to do that. <laughs> Goes on YouTube. First sitting at my school. <laughs> and, like, he then just flipped his shit on me. And he was like, ew, that's so nasty. Do you know what they do? Oh my god. And I'm like, well, guess who I'm not telling I'm a furry. <laughs> so, yeah, but that is, that is your private life. You don't have to tell fucking anyone if you're a furry if you don't want to. I, I just am, like, not ashamed about it. So I'll tell the people close to me, I won't tell people that aren't close to me. So, yeah. I keep forgetting to turn on my lamp. So I don't fucking care anymore. Oh, I need like a sign that says no cursing. Okay. So I don't flip and care anymore. It's like you can deal with the darkness. So, yeah. And of course, then Peanut w was just going around telling everyone, and I'm like, oh no, 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 because uh, Wood was actually hanging around with us when she was saying this. And of course, I think I said this already, but she was also saying, I'm a furry. She was like, hey, me and Aspen are furry. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, please, please, Jesus Lord, please, no. <laughs> Like, right? So, yeah, but <laughs> he never found out, and I don't even know if we're friends now because uh, crap went down with us, <laughs> so, uh, and it was not even closely related to furries or animals, so, yeah. <laughs> So I don't even know if we're friends anymore, so I guess it's like, well, good thing he didn't find out I'm a furry. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really all I had to talk about. Short video, I know. Well, bye!